everybody, and welcome to Coffee Chat. Good morning, Cindy. And Cynthia, Cindy, to my friends, so Cindy to y'all. And uh, I want to start off with a little story. See these pearls? Yeah, they're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? So uh, when I first married Dennis, he took me to a jewelry store and he bought me these pearls. He was doing mm. very well at the time and these are very expensive pearls, right? And so when we were first married and we were, uh, we were kind of like bunnies, right? And I would walk into the room with only my pearls on. <laughs> that's when we were, <laughs> that's when we were uh, making babies and first married and honeymooning, right? So these pearls have a lot of significance and I've worn these sure. pearls to all of our children's weddings. And well, when we moved, uh, well, first of all, what happened was uh, I, I couldn't find my pearls anywhere. I don't know. I didn't know where they were. And I put them in a little bag. And thank goodness, my girlfriend, Shirley, who was at our retreat, had gone over to help out with the estate sale because we were getting rid of everything. And she found the little bag uh -huh. in, in a weird closet. But she recognized that they were expensive because of the class. Sure. Right? Yeah. And so she said, Cindy, I found these pearls. Well, the the rules were anything that was left in the house was free game for them to sell. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. So they probably would have sold these for what twenty five bucks or something, not knowing <laughs> what they were. Right. And so she gave them to me. And um so at the time we were in Florida and so I said, take them over to the neighbor because my neighbor has got what I call my treasure chest. I'd put together stuff that I just absolutely didn't want to lose, right? In the move, which you know, you can lose things in a move, right? Oh, yeah. So anyway, so we come to Florida. They're in my tr treasure chest. And I go to the zippery thing the other day to get my pearls. And it's their pearls are not in there. Oh, no. This is when we first got here. So this was in June. Okay. And now it's, so that's six months ago. And, and I just, I, I knew that they were here somewhere. I thought. But they weren't in that little slippery thing, little pouch. And I, anyway, I, I didn't know. I don't, I didn't know, but I knew that I had brought them from Texas to Florida. Christmas Day, Christmas Day, I opened up this, my, uh, where I keep my socks in a, and there was this little pouch. It wasn't the same pouch, it was another pouch. And I said, I wonder what's in there. Merry Christmas. And I said, thank you. God. Merry Christmas. There's no such thing as a, a coincidence. That's the point of this story. And appreciation, as we know, is the highest vibration in the universe. So my appreciation for finding these pearls, especially on Christmas Day, was monumental. These pearls are almost 40 years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, th these are my pearls, right? And all of us women know what that means. That one thing that you have, that sentimental, all of that, right? And so the point is, when you are walking on the path of your divine self, expect things like this to happen, but make sure you acknowledge them. Right. And and burst out with a big old burst of thank you. And well, gratitude is so powerful because you're giving thanks ahead of time. Exactly. You're giving thanks. And this really brings us to what we were saying that we wanted to talk about today, which is feeding your soul. Feeding. You know? And, you know, the, your pearls are beautiful. However, 
they have meaning to you that they don't have meaning to me. I look at those go, those are gorgeous. But no, no, you say no. It has this meaning and I have that memory and we have this, you know, and I wore it to that wedding and, you know, all of that. So it's, it is different. And so when we feed our soul, uh, I mean, this could be all kinds of different things. And one of the things that I have recognized, uh, Cindy, and I know that you have too, you know, we both moved. I moved from our house in town a month ago to this winery that we're renovating. You moved across country, right. you know, into a different state from Texas to Florida. But whenever we are in a new surroundings, we get to choose if we're going to do things differently. And indeed we have. I now have a place here, right here, that my husband and I can sit in the morning and have coffee together. The other little house that we had was 75 years old, almost 76 years old, and little tiny rooms. It was a nice house. But, you know, we were kind of cloistered, if you will, and not able to sit comfortably together you know, just to hang out or have coffee or whatever. So things are different. Also, I am now three blocks from the river. And so I'm taking my dogs and walking down to the river. And, you know, it is connecting with the earth in a new way. And it is feeding my soul. One of the things, and we talked uh, about this last time, last week, we talked about the Be Now Retreat, which is coming up in just a couple of days now. And the music and the camaraderie and the oneness and all of that. And the music and especially live performance, there's just nothing like that. And I know you have a live performance of one of your stage plays coming up in San Angelo at the end of June, beginning of July. But you have another one that you're working on. What's right. Tell us about this. Well, I also wrote a ballet. So the ballet, I think, is going to be performed uh, in April. Mm -hmm. And then Pearl is going to be performed in June, which mm -hmm. both in San Angelo. Mm -hmm. So all of this has come together after I've moved to Florida. But that's the, you know, again, when you are working in alignment with God, and you know that, you don't question things, you just go with the flow, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream mm -hmm. <laughs> merrily life is a dream and so the new play i've already written several songs for it because i wanted it to be a spiritual a spiritual guidance kind of thing right and um or something spiritually enlightening that will people who see it will go oh yeah. Oh, and maybe accelerate another degree in your ascension to understanding who you are your, to your authentic self and getting out of your monkey mind and moving up to seeing the world through your spiritual eyes. So that's what this new thing is going to be. But I, I have the music, but I didn't have the storyline. And now I do. It came to me a couple of days ago and something that I've always talked about with people who are struggling with their spirituality. I always tell this story about say that you are at, you've been, you're a bright, bright light. It, it kind of comes from Neil Walsh's understanding of the light is the light that, and you have an appointment with and you're in heaven everything's beautiful and perfect and, and you come in and, and this and you're talking to somebody about wanting to have that human experience that you've been that you've heard about right and so there you've got somebody there describe saying well what do you what do you want well i want to know i want to know myself and I, i've heard that that's the best way to know yourself and well, how much do you want to know yourself? Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> because there's a lot of contrast in that human experience. There's a lot of darkness. So the more darkness you have in your human experience, the more you will at least start searching for that part of you 
that is one with everything here. Everything here where it's beautiful and blissful and joyful. So um, that's how I'm going to start the play. Where awesome. Somebody, so where somebody comes in to get their specially designed journey on discovering your authentic, who you really are. Because you'll have no memory of this conversation until maybe you will go to a play one day and you will be reminded and your soul will be saying something about this is familiar, mm -hmm. right? So, well, your, your music is so amazing okay. and real and, you know, you run the gamut from ethereal to really practical and fun and upbeat. And so people, if you don't know, Cindy Jordan actually won the 1983 Country Music uh, Song of the Year Award for writing Jose Cuervo, You Are a Friend of Mine. Everybody knows that song and you're still getting residuals. But what has happened is that you also have written so many other songs. You've written books. You've got children's programs. You've got Christian stuff. You've got uh, fun stage plays. You've got the uh, Lady in Blue. This is a big deal. And so I, I just want to say, too, if you women want to hang out, with Cindy Jordan at the booth. <laughs> I'm not joking you. And, you know, you and I are friends, so, you know, we go way back. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just telling the truth. You, know, Aww, you bring with you this rainbow of music and joy and fun and accomplishment. And, you know, it's been said that if you want to be successful, you need to hang out with successful people. You know something, Jeannie? What? You just gave me the idea for the rest of the play. Yay! That's the opening. I'm going to tell my own story. There you go. That's I'm it. Tell, I'm going to tell my own story. I'm going to uh, have that conversation, and I'm going to tell my own story. See? Okay, people, you just saw this happen right. in real time. <laughs> and that's what we, we had not talked about this before. Okay. Right. We had not. And that's one thing too. Cindy and I always say, you know, we, we can get into these big conversations because we talk all the time on the phone yeah. and we're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we have to be recording this. We cannot <laughs> talk about this off the air. And we don't, we don't. No. Yeah. Because so, we inspire each that. other. We inspire each other. And that works with osmosis throughout the whole retreat when we have these these retreats with me now. And, yeah. You know, by the way, Jeannie and I have decided to, uh, we have a program that we put together that we will also facilitate other people's retreats. At yes, and do and do keynote speaking and, and seminars and all of that wow. because we're now to a point where we have a little more freedom. Yes, you know, yes. So that is great, but Ladies, beautifulnetworkofwomen.com, beautifulnetworkofwomen.com. Sign up. And honestly, right now, um, you know, we have a few spaces left, but if your heart is telling you, yeah. you need to be there. And, you know, I just, I just cannot stress enough how much we come away walking on sunshine. Walking. You know, we're walking in sunshine. It's true. Is it like Katrina and the waves? You know, we're just walking on sunshine. Because it, but does, it feeds the soul. It does feed the soul. It does and, it, feed and, and we just lift each other up. And um, so, you know, in with the money game, in with your, your new um, musical uh, offerings, in with the beautiful network of women. You know, we've got a lot to offer. But let me tell you something. If you don't show up, you ain't going to get it. Yes. You know, so I did want to say one quick thing when you were talking about finding your pearls and stuff. And well, you know, this also week. goes along with the money game because we are going into something that is called luck and good fortune. And a lot of people just go, oh, yeah, well, you know, I don't really believe in luck. OK, you know, but there is a way to 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 you know get into that but look at that but also if you're if you have lost something there is a way to call this forth 
Okay. And St. Anthony is the patron saint of lost items and lost things. Okay. And so what I do, if I have misplaced something, I say out loud, Tony, Tony, look around. Jeannie's cell phone must be found or whatever, you know, and then drop it. It will show up 100% every time. Oh, and exactly. But there's another one too. And I do both. Okay. I do St. Anthony and the other one. The other one is you say, uh, half the our father. And then when you find it, you say the other half. And I'll share a little story. My mother had sent uh, all of my, the three daughters, Dennis's three daughters, these little squash um, hearts necklaces. Mm -hmm. And we were at church and we were at some function. And little Christy started crying because hers had, she, it had fallen off of something and she had lost it. And we had all been in this big, humongous, like three acres of grass. Just the kids had been playing and that kind of thing. Well, she was crying and the whole congregation started to look for this child's little silver squash necklace. And so she's still crying and everybody's looking in the grass. And I told her, I said, Christy, did you say that first half of the Our Father? She said, no. I said, well, honey, that's the most important. You're the most important person. You have to say that first half of the Our Father, right? So I held her hands. We said it together. I am not kidding you. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here it is. This man. I know. <laughs> found it. And for those that didn't see last week's thing, that's a good story of how I lost, I lost my pearls for six months. And send my half to the Our Father, and finally said it on Christmas Day. The other half, <laughs> they showed up. So it was an extra present. So, um, well, yeah. can't wait. Uh, you know, we're in a couple of days. We're going to be in Nacogdoches right. at uh, at our retreat, ladies. Giddy up! Giddy up! Beautifulnetworkofwomen.com. Don't miss this one. Oh, and yeah. uh, you know, but. I've also made a deal with God saying, let the right women show up. Absolutely. We don't, I don't want just anybody to show up. If your heart is calling you, you're it. Right. Okay. If your heart is not calling you for whatever reason, that's okay. It doesn't mean you're the wrong person. It just means this one's not for you. Exactly. And, and you know, Jeannie, on that note, that's what we've learned through the last five years going on six now that we are have put being out together is the right people do show up and we have people that have come every single retreat right our misty i love our misty mm -hmm. she said, yeah. we're, get, we're gonna uh not see a couple this time that have come to every other one but man i'll, I'll tell you that what we have put together and the power of the women that we've put together and you find and i think we've learned this in life Quantity is not as important as quality. That's right. Right. And so I've put things together before where a few people showed up and then I've had put things together before where they're busting out of the seams. Mm -hmm. You just never know when you put something together. But what's the most important thing, which is what's happened with us, is that this is a divine assignment. It and is. And we both realized this going on six years ago now, Jeannie, uh, that we were inspired to put together a group of women that support each other with no judgment, with mm -hmm. no judgment. And boy, I'll tell you, again. And the changes that happen, people leave our retreats and even at the retreat, but, you know, we've had people leave and write books, change their jobs, find a new uh, living space, um, new careers, heal themselves, heal their animals, which we're going to talk about next week. We're going to talk about animals. And yeah, but you know what? If your heart is calling you, 
and you don't answer, that's on you. Yeah. But we're bringing it, and we can't wait to see what happens. I but anyhow, I love you, my friend. I love you, too. So anyhow, we'll talk real soon. Love you. Mwah. Okay.